Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but there's little bit <laughs> little bits of ice. Oh it melted. We just got caught in the rain and the hail. Oh he was meant to be in the back, but I couldn't be bothered. I was just like, get in the car. Are you mad, Leo? Are you okay? It's just a nice rain. You're like, you mommy. Okay, not under there. No, thank you. Can you sit down for me? Oh, okay, so driving home now. Oh my goodness, it is crazy out there. I was fine. We've been walking for like almost two hours and then it just started pouring and hailing. <laughs> and I am soaked and my jacket is down there completely drenched all right I'm gonna drive home now <laughs> welcome to winter Perth I thought I'd add this in I was just watching my stuff and I was no don't move <laughs> look at you on his back with his arms in the air He's so cute. <laughs> I was just doing some of my manifestation stuff. And just in my laundry and I saw that. And he's so cute. Hey guys, I am coming on to talk to you about emotions today. And there's a question that I wanna start off and leave you with and see if you can think about it while you're having a watch and that's just how often do you check in with your emotions how often do you check in with your own emotions how are you feeling what do you want to do not what everyone else around you is thinking or what they're feeling but what are you feeling what are you thinking emotions are reactions that human beings experience in response to events in response to situations that happen and it is something that I feel like we don't take time to think about enough, personally. I got caught in a rainstorm earlier this week and I had just been in such a terrible mood for pretty much no reason. I was pretty exhausted, but I just felt so tired and exhausted. And then when I got hailed on and rained on, I just thought it was so funny and it was so, uplifting like it just made me feel better and I'm not sure why but I was able to check in with my emotions and just I don't know and just be able to see that I was just tired that I am in a good place and that I am feeling good about what I'm doing um you know that saying or the quote that's when a butterfly flaps its wings. Um, it's, a, it's a Chinese proverb in origin uh, and can be known as the butterfly theory, but it states the flapping of the wings of a butterfly can be felt on the other side of the world. And it's basically just saying that small actions or little things that you do, or maybe little things that you feel can actually have big repercussions or they're capable of generating a large change, a large shift, whether that's positive or not. Um, and I love that one so much and that's great to talk about and hear. But I wrote down a little something that I wanted to say based on this video and it's just about emotions and that I've been working tirelessly to figure out who I am, what I want, and where I should be in life. And I realized that I do not need to know everything. In fact, I don't want to know everything because I was watching this, watching, I was listening to this podcast the other day. It's about human experience. Um, and she was talking about human experience and knowing what is going to happen and not knowing what's going to happen and how knowing what's going to happen isn't necessarily going to make things better or worse. And I know that change can be hard and it's hard to think about not knowing what's going to happen. But if you think about it, we all know we're going to die one day, right? <laughs> we all know we're going to die. That's something that's just 
going to happen. There is a day that we are going to die and we don't know when that is. We don't know how that's going to happen, but we know that we're going to die. And the fact that we know we're going to die does not necessarily make us feel any better about life. doesn't make us feel better about what we're doing. So why would we want to or think we need to know what is going to happen? Because when you have something like that, you know the reality, you know what's going to happen. It doesn't necessarily make you feel better. It doesn't make your life better. So point being <laughs> that when you are just listening to your emotions and what you want to do and what you feel is right for you, everything will just go how it's supposed to go. And you don't need to know how that's supposed to go, what's going to happen, because that's not going to make you feel any better. I know for someone like me who has anxiety and does like to know what's happening, ha well, what happens and constantly rewatches the same show or movie, I just think, <laughs> because I know what's going to happen in them, it's just important to remember that you are you check in with yourself what feels right to you what doesn't and ultimately whatever is going to happen is going to happen and if something is meant for you if you take a path that you feel isn't going to lead you onto that right path but it feel onto the path that you know is right for you or you feel is really right for you maybe that is a detour you need to take but if it is meant to happen it will happen whether that's sooner or whether that's later um, <laughs> basically, we're here to experience everything. Life, love, faith, pain, grief, growth, joy, guilt, pleasure. We are here and we are going to experience so many emotions, so many things that will happen and maybe we'll even forget some things that happened and some emotions that we felt towards things or people but we are all doing the best that we can and emotions are not the enemy my point is that emotions are complicated we are all doing the best that we can with what we know how and you just <laughs> need to give yourself a little break because i was putting so much pressure on myself and we need to look at everything i just said i know it's a bit of a jumble but Emotions are emotions. Knowing what's going to happen isn't necessarily going to help us. And we just need to take a step back, walk in the rain, feel the hail on your face <laughs> and just keep going because you can, because you're here and that's what you're meant to be doing. Just keep going. Some amazing facts that I found about emotions where emotions are electrochemical signals that flow through us in an unending cycle. So if you're scientific, if you're spiritual, whatever, emotions are chemicals, they're signals, they're flowing through us constantly and there is nothing wrong with them. There are eight basic emotions that people say that there are and that emotions are actually neutral. Emotions function to guide us to survive and thrive. They're not a bad thing. And there was a psychologist, Robert Pluchik. We know I'm not saying that right. <laughs> and it's based on his theory of emotions that he believed that humans can experience over 34,000 unique emotions but ordinarily they experience eight primary emotions and those include anger, fear, sadness, joy, disgust, surprise, trust and anticipation. But most people say that happiness is actually the number one emotion. Now I know all of that was a bit of a jumble, a bit confusing, but all I'm trying to say is I have spent so long trying to hide how I feel. If I cry, I punish myself, you know, not anything dramatic, but 
you know, uh, beat myself up mentally. I'm telling myself, you're not allowed to feel that, not allowed to do that. If I feel angry, I tell myself I'm not allowed to feel that. But you're allowed to feel your emotions. Emotions are natural, they're neutral, they're just a part of who we are. And that is okay. So that is all I wanted to get across is that emotions are okay and they can change and you need to be able to feel those emotions. Like that morning I needed to feel angry and annoyed and frustrated and then I got out of it because I let myself feel those emotions and I didn't keep them in or bottle them up. I really hope that you got something out of this. But for now, that is all. If you have any questions about what I said or you want something that is more structured and actually about the psychology of motivation and emotion that I've learned in my course so far, then please let me know. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day or week or night, wherever you are. And as always, be true and be you because who you are is amazing. <laughs>